Thank you for joining us this evening for this fabulous reception honoring Rob Brown and his accomplishments. This is the first in a series of focused solo exhibitions that will be featured in the next few years with an ongoing program of exhibitions that include the natural sciences, material culture, art, contemporary art, indigenous art, you name it, folks, we've got it here at the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. I'd like to now introduce Professor Anton von Florin. He is the assistant to the director for administration at the Kunstmuseum of the city of Ludwig, the Finnish Democratic Republic, and he will speak briefly on Rob's work. Good afternoon and welcome to you all. I am delighted to be here to open this exhibition. From a great distance, I have long admired the work of your Mr. Rob Brown. Who is Rob Brown? And why have we come here tonight to celebrate and enjoy his achievements? Well, let me start with a story of my first interaction with his work. The bold use of colors delighted me in their deliberacy. I applauded the compositional geometric balance, and his brushwork was masterfully executed. It had all the hallmarks of a master painter. The marriage of characters initially confused me slightly. <laughs> a rather rotund nun, teetering precariously atop a gleefully colorful clown. Intrigued, I read the label, Virgin on the Ridiculous. <laughs> Since my first exposure, I have been, I would say, addicted. I am, in fact, a world authority on his work, Prayer to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, 1632, which is on loan from my home institution of the Kunstmuseum in the city of Ludwig, the Finnish Democratic Republic. I am pleased to announce that the people of Darwin can now view this magnificent work here in a dedicated room to my right for the very first time. An initial impression one may have of both artist and his work is that of a larrikin brushness, an overt in your face and overly boisterous abruptness. This is a ruse. His theatrics, both as a person and an artist, conceal a thread of melancholia introspection, and a remarkable degree of empathy. This exhibition celebrates the artistic evolution of your rock realm. Before us are the finest examples of his prolific and creative outpourings of over 20 years. Highlights would include his early drawings, which provide an insight into his stylistic beginnings. They also represent an illustration of the complex psyche there are moments of brutal honesty and moments of self-doubt, even sexually brown as a bearded female nude. <laughs> There's his spewing of ideas in the installation Clown Vomit, where angels feel to tread. I'm sure many of you here remember the original installation of 2003, which featured an impressive 105 of these small paintings. And whilst brown vehemently denies any influence of the top end in his work. I, however, see a clear link. <laughs> Brown's passion for all Australiana things is reflected through your Aussie icons and characters synonymous with the Northern Territory. Cowboys, bush rangers and explorers, crocodiles. <laughs> we see such humble characters like a half-naked Wayne of Ulladi praying to his flip-flop sandal thong. Alongside a portrait of Burke and Wills, they may each be dressed as Batman and Robin, but their ridiculous garb hides the quiet and serious <laughs> intent behind the story of these ill-fated icons of the territory. These are Brown's collectors and fans. This exhibition could not have been possible without those fans. There are several works here from the museum collection, but many more were sourced from homes offices, storerooms, shipping containers, and even toilets <laughs> from around Darwin, Catherine, Tennant Creek, and Interstate. I have immensely enjoyed my visit to your Northern Territory and my rather unique role in this opening. I trust I have captured the quirkiness 
and the spirit of the artist and his works. Keep this. Thank you very much. Hey, Brad. Toby. Hi, Hey. Uh, it's been informed by the professor there. Was this sex of, sorry, my phone's going. This happens to you a lot, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, mate. We're just in the night. Yeah, I that in. The quicker we get this over and done. Oh, thank you. Hello. Sorry. I can't remember to turn their phone off. Please. <laughs> now. That's all right. Now, Rob, that was obviously a coincidence. So, Rob, you have been known to cause a certain amount of disruption in life. And I think it's fair to say it represents your tendency to. Um, Embrace the card of less. An uh, old turn that talks about turning the ritual upside down, which you wrote about in your um, in your thesis for uh, your masters. Um, do you enjoy upsetting people? I've never done a masters. Well, sorry, oh, sorry your, your your paper at university. Oh. <laughs> um, no, I don't enjoy upsetting people at all. I love people. But I do love the carnivalesque. Well, uh, I've never been accused of being sophisticated, but the carnivalesque for me would be the temporary liberation of prevailing truths and commonly held values in society. Would you describe your work as inherently irreverent? Yeah. Seriously, the streaks downstairs. As soon as we get this done, we're going to have a look at this. Sorry, what was the question? Uh, <laughs> that one about the drinks. No, sorry, the, um, the sense of empathy. I mean, we have had people complain already at the museum about your disrespect for religion, your disrespect for um, the Anzac tradition. Do you mean to upset these people? No, well, that was actually myself that complained. Um, <laughs> and I retract that complaint. So, so ticky to boo, and we'll um, have another couple of questions. Yes or no questions is probably a little bit... <laughs> Do you really have a thing for Wonder Woman? What is it? A Wonder Woman, no, yeah, no, yeah. What kind of a question is that? Well, the Wonder Woman does appear a great deal. And, you know, it's a bit hard to ignore the amount of Wonder Woman breasts throughout the show. Did you read a lot of comic books when you were young? No. Did you read a lot of Playboy when you were young? <laughs> well, not read. <laughs> So what do you actually think of the current situation of the Australian politics, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful question. Actually, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> I think we'll retire for some drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.